Well, it is buddy check day. Time to do that self-exam. You got to catch breast cancer early, right? But stand by. We are adding something brand new. Ever check your dog for cancer? Turns out our little rescue, Riley, got cancer. So how early did we catch this? Very early. Like, I mean, it was perfect, to be honest with you. The fact is, Riley could have died, and that would have crushed me. <laughs> we just got some really good news. Yes, we did. You're cancer-free. Let's go. Come on. And where did we find his cancer? Ironically, his ear. <laughs> Ironic, because we call Riley Batman. And why Batman? Well, check out those ears. But several weeks ago, my daughter found something on Riley's ear, a hard knot. Dr. Tracy Ledoux is a veterinary radiation oncologist at Sevo Med in Orange Park. So for Riley, his was a particular cancer called mast cell tumors. Those are the most common skin tumors that we see in the dog. So are you hearing me? Oh yeah, yeah, he can. That's why he Riley's surgeon is Dr. Carlos Aragon in Orange Park at Blue Pearl Pet Hospital. And so he's two weeks out. We had to take off just the ear tip here. And yeah, we lost a chunk out of Batman's ear, but the cancer was tiny. It was the size of a BB. A teeny BB. It was right here. Couldn't see it but we could feel it. And how new was his cancer? How long had it been there? You're probably looking at weeks. Just weeks, but if it had gone for a couple of months? Instead of being a little BB, it may have been this big by then. Because mast cell cancer can spread from a lump outside to the liver or spleen inside, and that's how it kills. So now we're telling Riley, even with this very special ear, <laughs> we still love him a lot. <laughs> So, are you checking your dog or your cat for cancer? Tomorrow at 6, Dr. Ledoux shows us how to do that. I learned so much from her, I never thought, for example, about checking my dog's armpits or between his toes. Doggy check is tomorrow at 6.